right. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining this session. So uh, security is a hot topic these days, right? It seems like everyone finally understood its importance and want to embrace it into their organization. But when it comes down to actually implementing security, who has the ownership for it? Is it the security teams or the R&D teams? In, mo in most organizations, it's a joint effort, right? The security teams are responsible for defining the tools and procedures needed to be implemented. And the R&D teams are the ones who are responsible for implementing those. So in theory, you have these two groups of people working together for this common and important goal. So how come this usually happens? Let's take a common scenario that usually triggers this friction between the teams. In this example, we have a common CI-CD pipeline. We have the source control management system, we have the CI engine, and we have the production environment. In this example, we'd like to introduce a new security scanner called GitLeaks. It checks for secrets inside your code. If you look at this task from the security perspective, it doesn't seem like a big task the CI CD pipeline already exists. And the security scanner is an open source project. Everyone can use it. But when you, when you look at it from the dev team's perspective, things start to look a little bit different. It's the CI CD pipeline, right? Nobody wants to touch that. And this scanner, where is it coming from? What's its performance? How is it going to affect the build time? And after we deploy it, do you expect us to maintain it and release new versions of it? And finally, consuming the outputs. How do you want to receive the outputs and look at them? I know many of you have probably been in this situation before. Does it always have to be like this? Why does every security project trigger such emotions? Hi. I'm Jonathan, and I lead the R&D for Cider Security. This friction between R&D teams and security teams is exactly why I joined Cider Security, and why it was important for me to come here today and present you with our platform. Cider's mission is to reduce this friction between security teams and development teams. We do this by enabling security to run at the pace of development. We provide security teams with real-time visibility into the technology stack of their organization. We also provide the ability to integrate tools such as security scanners. And finally, we provide a complete overview of the security posture for the CI CD pipelines. Let's see how all this comes together on our platform. In this demo, we'll see some of CIDR's um, real-time visibility into the organization technology stack. We'll see how easy it is to integrate a new integration into our platform. And finally, we'll integrate the GitLeaks scanner. Let's go. All right, this is CIDR's main landing page. We call it the insider. It provides you with real-time visibility into the organization's technology stack. Just from a quick view, you can see a few meaningful insights, such as that we have some public repos, and also that we're using multiple CI engines for different pipelines. Such insights are crucial for your security teams to be aware of so they can guide the organizations on how to mitigate them. By the way, if we're talking about meaningful insights, I see that there's one repository here called Upside Down Ice Cream. If you're not familiar with what Upside Down Ice Cream is, Cider can help you with that too. By the way, we have lots of these upstairs here. All right. I want to demonstrate how easy it is to add a new integration into our platform. Let's add an organization from GitHub 
into the platform. We go to the integrations page, choose GitHub, select the appropriate organization that we want to integrate, approve the permissions, and that's it. What's happening behind the, the scenes right now is that our platform is cloning the repositories, analyzing them, and presenting you with real-time visibility into the organization's technology stack. Wait for it, it will happen. Live demo. There it is. We've added a new organization and we've pr we received real-time visibility into its technology stack. All right, now that we have access to the code, let's see how easy it is to integrate a new security scanner. Let's go to our marketplace page. In this page, you can see we have multiple scanners for different technologies. Let's choose the scanner we want, GitLeaks. Assign it to a few scanners, to a few repositories. And that's it. We assigned, we integrated the scanner into our pipeline. No changes in CI builds, no maintenance worries, no performance hits, nothing. From now on, for every push on these repositories, CIDR will trigger a scan for Git leaks. And what about consuming the results? Let's see how CIDR handles that. This is our code issues page. All our scanners are streamlined into one format and presented here. This is extremely useful since you don't have to integrate additional tools to view different scanners. I can see that the GitLix uh, scanner already returned some results and we found some API access token for Slack in this bash file which someone committed. All right, there's one more model insider which is called the pipeline risk, but that's a subject for a different demo. Let's summarize what we talked about. So securing your CI CD environment is a hard task. The amount of changes happening in this area on a daily basis make it even harder. CIDR's platform reduces the friction between security teams and helps you in this task of, uh, <laughs> of tracking changes. Thank you very much.